Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign criteria and properties in RAM frame. For this particular video, we're going to be focusing on assigning frame numbers. Now, the primary purpose of assigning frame numbers is to group your frame members for output purposes, but they may also have design implications for the case of seismic special provisions. Now, for simplicity's sake, I went ahead and turned off all of our gravity members in this particular model, and we're at the point where we're ready to assign frame numbers. To assign frame numbers in RAM frame, go up to your main menu and select the Assign option. From this pull-down menu, you will find the option for frame numbers. Now, frame numbers can be assigned to any of the members within your lateral system, including columns, walls, beams, and braces. What you're going to do first is select the frame number you want to assign and the members or elements you want to assign it to. After that, you can move on to your assignment method, and we offer the same typical assignment methods that we do with many other options within RAM Structural System. I'm going to go ahead and use the single option and select all of the members and elements I'm interested in. Once you are finished, you're ready to move on to your next frame number. Now for this particular model, I'm choosing to assign frame numbers one and two to my two moment frames on either side of the structure. And I'm going to assign frame numbers three and four to my braced frame systems. Now frame numbers can be assigned in either plan mode or you can go to 3D or elevation mode. For frame numbers, I do find it easiest to assign them in elevation mode. So let's go ahead and select that option and select our other moment frame. Now to return the previous dialog, you're gonna go ahead and just right click. You're gonna notice that all of your options that you had selected previously are already selected and the program automatically selected frame number two for you. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the fence button and draw a fence around the moment frame. Once you are done, you can again return to the 3D view and select another frame. This time, I'll go with the braced frame over at the left-hand side of my structure. I'll right-click and select lateral frame number three, and then again use my fence option. And finally, I'll repeat this process for my fourth frame. After you assign your frame numbers, you can go ahead and perform an analysis if everything else in your model is set. Now the advantage of assigning lateral frame numbers is to go ahead and organize some of your reports and some of your information after an analysis is completed. For example, if I went up to the main menu and selected the reports option, Let's go ahead and select the Member Force Summary option. Here you can see you can select which frames you want to specifically take a look at for many of these reports. At this point, this concludes our process for assigning frame numbers in the RAM frame analysis mode. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.